Red leather, yellow leather, red. Ah! These sheriff's teeth. Hi guys, what's up? Thank you so much for watching. Mostly saying I am Prajita. Welcome back to another Thursday. Also, this Thursday is extremely special because it's one of those days when you know I am pissed. <laughs> I haven't done that one in a long time. Where to go, Project Thor? So, you know, as a fellow human being, I thought I have a socio cultural responsibility that I have. Is that what it's called? I don't know. That's what it's gonna get called from now on, alright? Okay. Which I thought I should fulfill, you know, because sometimes, sometimes people just need to be pointed out and told that, hey, how about you stop doing that? Would it kill you to not do that? It wouldn't. So yeah, just don't do it. So I am sorry. I am very salty. Anywho, if you've read the title of the video already today, you and me are going to be talking about how to not be a bad person. Being the genius good person that I am, I have nine ways. So it's like a do's and don'ts, mostly don'ts sort of a list. So yeah, let's begin, shall we? and then keep running for more stuff to buy. Now, although I may look like a completely jobless, useless person standing behind you, in my sweats holding like one and a half items, but hey, hi, let me pop your bubble. I am not. It is borderline frustrating when I have like one Mento and one Snicker bar that I have to bill for and you have a cart full of it. Now you're gonna say, Prajita, hey, why didn't you go to the express counter? My friend, I am talking about the express counter. It was just yesterday when there was this lady who had 10 things on her list and she was billing them and she was a smart lady oh yeah she was because what she kept doing was every time one item got billed she would go and get another item that she wanted so i don't know she might have billed like a 1200 things under the express counter line and i was there standing with my mentor like hello not a pretty picture so don't do that number two don't honk at the car that's in front of you when the signal is red now i'm not talking to you like there's going to be any room for discussion here i mean what 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 it's not like the signal is kind of red but no not there yet. Ooh, that rhymed. <laughs> it's not like the signal is red, but really looks like orange if you see it from 100 meters away. No, it's red. So what do you do when the signal is red? You stop. You have to wait. What were you expecting? All the cars in front of you just gonna be like, Hanji Sarji, sorry, sorry, Hanji Sarji. You need to stop living out of your dream, my friend. Number three, do smile back when someone smiles at you. Knock, knock. Guess what? <laughs> no, my face isn't naturally like that, okay? I use 26 very, very precious muscles of my own to put on this expression in response to the fact that we made eye contact. I am acknowledging your existence as a fellow human being sharing Mother Earth with me. It wouldn't kill you to not make me look like a creepy stalker, okay? Thank you. Number four, don't stare into your phone in the movie theater. Now, it takes a special kind of idiot to be the most hated person in a place which is amazing to judge whether a person deserves to live or not. In a cinema hall where there's all different sorts of weird pains in the neck, it is this person that I hate the most that you shouldn't be who has his phone's screen brightness on maximum and is surfing Facebook whilst the movie is on and especially when the screen goes slightly darker. Now, I'm not saying Saying that it pisses me off. Phone ban kar, phone ban kar, abhi teri aag nochu ban kar, phone ban kar. Number five, do not take someone's seat without asking them. I mean, come on. I wanted the loo to make some more room for carrot cake. Okay, it's not like, it's not like I don't know. It's not like I died. Oh, 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 oh. And also, I left my bag and my laptop on the table, which might be a slight suggestion that there was civilization on that table about 20 minutes ago. There have been so many times when people have picked my stuff up and kept it on the floor and taken the seat up for themselves, just assuming that when I come back, they're gonna let me know that, hey, I'm sorry, your seat's taken. Why don't you take that one? I kept your stuff down there. All right, two things. Number one, do not touch tops. And number two, do not touch tops. Tops is my laptop, okay? He's like a son to me. Stay from him. Number six, don't judge a woman driver. Let's look at it this way. Oh my god, all men are perps. No, they're not. <laughs> Wait, are you saying some of them are different? Yes. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. All men are perps. Hmm, now, let me put this out straight. Some of us are horrendous drivers, just how some males are horrendous drivers. Some of us are decent drivers, like other males which are decent drivers. And some of us 
who are bad maybe they weren't bad because you guys some of you guys you know who you are won't quit hurting our ego <laughs> there i said it number seven do not squirt ketchup all over the fries see now there's two kinds of human beings in the world okay as simple as that number one are the people who are nice who are caring, who are friendly and make overall solid human beings. And number two are the people who squ- <clears throat> Number two are the people who squirt the cat- Squirt the cat- <laughs> Oh- <laughs> Now it's a democratic country, okay? You can do whatever the hell you want to do with your fries. But hey, all I'm trying to say is, uh, I don't know, get your own damn plate. But you know, if just in case we're sharing, you know, like we might be sharing fries, which is a huge commitment from my side if I'm sharing my fries with you. Would you not do that? Because it's like tattooing your partner's name on your body and then having an ugly breakup. It cannot be undone. Number eight, don't drive with your high beams on on a well-lit highway. Now, let me break it down for you, make it as simple. <laughs> you, my friend, wouldn't stuff yourself on a extra large cheese burst pizza right after you've had an unlimited buffet, would you? Yes, I would. Okay, that's a very bad example. But the point is, why would you want to see clearly when you can see clearly? Huh? Ah, the high beams are supposed to be used when the street is dimly lit or dark. Just how your future will be if you don't stop stabbing your high beams into my eyes when I drive, okay? Call that savage. Number nine, don't leave your crying kids unattended in a public area. Isn't that obvious? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know how they say love is blind. <laughs> so funny. Your kid may look like this to you in a public area. <laughs> But to everybody else, he or she looks like this. <laughs> Cute, right? I know. Leash? Did you just say leash your kids? Bad idea? Okay, sorry. Alright, you guys, so that was all the wisdom I had. I'm squatting. Can you do that? Those were nine ways to be a good person. Those were nine ways. In other words, to not. Be a bad person, take it from me, okay? You're welcome. Alrighty guys, if you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to come up with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, you know, if you could just like subscribe. Also, if you're not following me on my social media, you might just be beginning to miss out on a lot of stuff because I am creating a lot of content that's, you know, sort of <laughs> funny only for my social media. So you let me know. I need you guys to tell me if I should create more of that. Is there anything you want me to do? All the links to my social media are in the description below. Shameless plug. I'll see you guys again on Tuesday until we meet. Love, love. Uh...